I think there's a pencil or something stuck in the room. On this, up here somewhere, right in the middle. Why is that the only key that rattles? show was brought to you by Dharma Wheelies. It's my milk in a box. It's Leon Motherfucker, Phone Losers of America, Gobi, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can help contribute to the show at immoralhole.com forward slash contribute. Hello? Hi. Hello? <clears throat> Hi. Um, you, you happen to have something for sale, correct? Uh, yes, the pecan pies. Yeah, what can you tell me about it? Um, they're homemade pecan pies, and uh-huh. uh, everything is homemade except for the pie crust. Okay. You, uh, so, did you grow the the the, peca- the pecans from the tree? No, they're store bought. Oh, store bought. Okay. Well, I was just I was just making sure because my my great aunt, uh, my grand my my great great aunt, uh, Snappy bakes. She she had a pecan tree in her backyard, and uh, she always made me eat dirt pecans. Oh, I see. They would fall I from see. the tree. Yeah. They they would fall from the. She would put baskets under there, and I would ask her if I could have one to eat, and she she said no. Those are for the baking. She says the dirt pecans are yours, and she would she would step on them to put extra dirt on them, and she wouldn't let me wash them, and then I ate them. Oh dear. Um. Yes, they're completely store bought. Yeah. So no okay. dirt pecans here. Okay. Okay. Um. And uh, how the the um. The syrup. Did you use? Is it the corn syrup for the um, for the filling that goes over the pecans? It's Cairo. Cairo. Okay. 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 And and are these like I don't know how these are made because like I said I've never had a pecan pie before. I've always stuck with pumpkin and apple, so I'm I'm venturing out this holiday. Um, were these at the, the? Is this the recipe that was at the original Thanksgiving when the Indians were slaughtered by the pilgrims? Um, I'm actually not sure about that, um, but it has become like a Thanksgiving tradition and Christmas tradition to slaughter, for people to, 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 to slaughter Indians. Oh, uh, well, I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was something in the pecans that made you mm-hmm. do things like this, but I wanted the full experience because this is my first Thanksgiving outside of the jail cell. Right. Um, yeah, no, um, it's I, I don't know how it really got started, but um, uh-huh. I don't know. It just beca- kind of became a thing where people would make pecan pies for, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And you really can't find okay. pecan pies after those two holidays. That's why I'm kind of, like, starting right. to just keep pecan pies, you know, as per order. And I need to know, like, at least a day in like, like you're like, like you're Like year-round you're talking, not just holidays, but just, just all the time so people can have them? Yes, because you really can't find them in the uh, store, and you definitely can't, you know, you can't buy a frozen pecan pie in July, and you can't find them uh, anywhere. Yeah. And if you're wanting a pecan pie for some reason, then you can't find it. So I'm just going to try to keep them, you know, if someone calls yeah, and they want a the, pecan pie, then I'll make them for them. Yeah, like sometimes I just want to call, and I'm like, I'm like, how do you get a pecan? 
how do you go? How do you get a pecan? And the, nobody could tell me that. I ran across this, and I'm like, pecans in, in April, pe- pecans in May. Uh, I mean, pecans in June would be fantastic. I mean, pe- can you imagine a pecan on the Fourth of July? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice. Yeah, it, it would be. You like apple, apple and cherry all the time, Fourth of July. Maybe I want something different. Maybe I want to be I want to be an upstanding American, but maybe I want to be, you know, just a little bit out there. Maybe I want to be a little French. And so I want to get a pecan. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like that's cool. That's cool. So listen, uh I how many pecan pies can I get at at one? I don't want to go overboard because I may be the only one that likes it. But um, um, you can order as many as you'd like. Um, I do okay. need to know a day in advance so that I can make sure they're all ready. Um, okay. Are you here in Elk? Um, yes, yes. Um, okay. I also, do you know anybody that would like to come eat pecans with me, like a pecan? Like, do you know somebody that's a pecan eater? that could like show me the ins and outs of the pie and how to eat a pecan pie properly. Like maybe somebody that's a potential date for the holiday. Um, I don't know anyone off the top of my head, but I can keep it no. in mind when I'm talking to people. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Like you're, you're, you're not, you're not a single as they say. Um, no, unfortunately I'm not. My, pr- my prison record is not as bad as it sounds. Oh no! I'm, I'm, I'm I went, just. Um, I went in for. I went in for. I went in for tax evasion. I was. Uh, I was selling dogs to fighting dog fighting rings, and I didn't claim it properly on my taxes. H and R Block really fucked me. Mm. And so, because I signed the paper after they prepared it, I, you know, I, they marked it down that I went to jail for dog fighting. But really, I went to. I went to jail for tax evasion. I see. So if you know anybody that's an animal an animal lover, um, I have dogs other than other than pit bulls. I have bull mastiffs. Uh, I have the chihuahuas. Uh, chihuahuas put up a hell of a fight when they're in competition. I'll tell you that right now. So th- that's just me, though. Right. Yeah. So. So yeah. So uh, so you say one day in one day in advance then. Um, yes. Also, depending on how many you're wanting to order, like if you're wanting like six or something, then I may need two days to yeah. make all of them because I do have okay. work. So, well, okay, that's um, fine. And let but, me ask you this: like, if I wanted to order some special, like a couple months down the road, how are you at baking like files and other sharp metallic objects into pies? Sharp metallic objects into pies. Yeah, yeah, like a like a file, like a like a a file, like uh, like a six inch file. Um. Yeah, I don't do that. But I would prov- I wouldn't really expect you to run down to the local hardware store to get. Well, I would provide the file. Yeah. No. Um. I don't feel comfortable. Something. Baking something. The file that, something. My something pie. that can make it. Okay, I just want something that can make it through a, a metal detector or an X-ray machine. Is there any particular reason I've got why? Some, I got, well, I got some homeboys on the inside, and they've requested it. I see. Um, yeah. yeah uh, just uh, whenever you're ready to place your order for the pie, just give me a call back, and um, I'll see what I can do for you. Okay. Good. Because what what had happened is uh, I I was uh, a part of that cryptocurrency that uh, the, T, the TMX group and they they lost their ass, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. Just um, just let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Okay. Well, actually, actually, it was, it, it was it was FTX. That's that's what it is. So they don't have as much money in their commissary right now, and so mm-hmm. I'm just. I'm just trying to do them a solid. And if I can help them escape, then I can help them escape. And you'll, you could be an accessory after the fact, but I would never write on you and neither would they. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. We're real tight. Well, um, I actually have to run. So, um, yeah, just give me a holler 
whenever you want to place your order, and we'll see what we can do. I actually have to run right now. Okay. Are you watching a football game? Because I hear something in the background. Um, yeah, I'm working right now. No, no, I said football game. Yeah, I'm working. What, well, what is your, what is your full-time job? I work at the radio station. Oh, at the radio station. What radio station? I'll tune in. Um, it's uh, the Coyote in Weatherford. The Coyote. I know that mm-hmm. one. All right, I'm going to turn it on right now, and I'm going to listen. Okay. All right. Well, uh, All right. you have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. I don't like ringing phones very much. Hello? Hang Hello? on. Hang on a minute. Hello? Yo, just a minute. Hello? Can you hear me? Hang on, just a minute. Oh. Brother, maybe you can Yeah, hear hurry me. up. Wait. Yeah, I don't. Sir? Hello? You there? Can you hear us? Can you hear Hi, me? I hear you. I'm Yeah, I'm I'm in the pipes. You called? No, I didn't go you. Yeah, I'm in the catacombs. You said that you had a a wild animal down here that was making lots of noise. Not me. Wrong number. Hello? Yeah. This is, it, it's got it's got a what do you want? Hi, I'm calling about the safe guns. The gun safes, yes. Yeah, I've yeah, yes, them. yes, absolutely. How? Uh, got, which types do you have? Different models or just one? Well, I've got the two foot wide by the five foot tall, and then I've got the thirty six inch by five foot. Okay, how much do you know how much they weigh about? Well, the big one is about 500 pounds or better. And the two smaller okay. The the two smaller ones they're about 200 pounds. The two smaller ones are six rifles. Okay. Well, I, I want to get it uh because I my uh my my kids, my kids don't know how to treat our treat our chickens. So I'm going to put the chickens into the gun safe. Well, now, that's not very smart. You kill them. You kill them. What's that now? We pin chickens in a good Wait. safe and then we'll kill them. Why is it going to kill? I just want to keep it safe. I'm going to put a light bulb in there. I'm going to wire some electricity. That won't work. Well, I don't understand. Please explain it to me. You put something in a solid box with no air, it's going to die. Oh, it's airtight, you're saying? They're airtight, yes. Okay, can I have you modify it? Can I have you drill some holes so the chickens can uh, live? Nope. So it just comes as that you're not a fabricator at all? I am, but I ain't going to do that to them safes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I guess because uh, I just wanted to put the chickens in there, but I guess if you won't do that for me, you can you can take the the safe and shove it up your fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Well, why don't you come down here where I live, motherfucker, and I'll beat the goddamn hey. hell out of you, you stupid son of a bitch. Hey, let, let's not yell. Let's not be Neanderthals, okay? Why don't you listen? Listen. Hey. Okay. Now listen. You just come down here. You just come down here. I live four miles south of Holland, motherfucker. I'll beat the goddamn hey, li- listen here. Come ah. out of you. Listen here, you throat goat. You don't threaten me, goddamn it. Bring your ass down here, bitch. Hello. Hi. Do you, have, do you have the eggs? I'm sorry. I'm do you sorry. Have the eggs? Hang on. Hang on. I, ma'am, hello. I'm in your uterus. I'm looking for the eggs. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm in your wife's uterus looking for the eggs. Say that 
again? I'm in your wife's uterus looking for the eggs. You're looking for the eggs? Yeah, inside your wife's uterus. Okay. I took a left I took a left at her ovaries and I can't find the eggs. I feel like Buck's bunny looking for Albuquerque. Hi, you have reached Tom and Amy. Please leave a hello, message after hello, the tone and we'll get back hello, to you as hello. soon as possible. Hello. Thank you and have a great day. Hello. Demon hello, my drone is caught in your bathroom window. Um, I was trying to just fly it around, but somehow it flew outside your bathroom window. I wasn't taking any pictures or anything. Just like video. Thank you for calling Holiday and Express and Poto. This is Elena. How may I help you? Hi. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, hi. Me and my friend, we're having an early Thanksgiving in our room, uh, and we're going to deep fry this turkey. How much gasoline goes into this deep fryer? What room are you in? Yeah. We're in 215. I got about five gallons. Should that do it? Is it diesel or is that kerosene you got? Oh, um, it's turbo diesel. It's, it's that, like, green. Oh, biodiesel. The oh. biodiesel, yeah. Oh, yeah. They said it makes it extra crispy and tasty. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, you can come up and bring a side. Not buying. So we got to do that off air. Thank you for calling oh, wow. Sure State Plus by Best Western. How can I help you? Hi, I masturbated in the room, and I'm going to need to clean up. Oh. Excuse me, sir. I need a cleanup in my room. I hung myself. I hung my penis in the room. He says, you're my son. Thank you for calling Sure State Plus by Best Western. How can I help you? Hi. Do you believe in Jesus and uh, love at first sight, but over a telephone? Sir, are you a uh, guest? Of yeah, I'm, in, I'm up here in 215. Uh, I'm on the second floor because I'm not a, yeah, because I'm not a peasant. I don't stay on the first floor with the dirt grubs. One moment. Right. I don't see what all the confusion's about. I mean, a man tells you what he's been doing in his room and requires some assistance. I figure some assistance would be would be had. Uh huh. What room? You said two fifteen. Yep, 215. And you're really sure about that room number? Uh, well, last I checked, I, I am dyslexic. So it could be 112. But it was upstairs. What's the name on the room? Uh, the last name is Johnson, J-O-H-N-S-O-N. And first name? First name is Kevin, N-I-C-K. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, just some cleaning supplies, the uh, good elbow grease of a strong, feral man, approximately hey, 30 years old, has a why beard. Don't, why don't you come down to the uh, the front desk, and I'll get you all For the what? cleaning supplies you could use. Yeah, but I don't, I don't work here. No, no, I understand, but why don't you come down to the front desk 
where the employee is and make their hey, quit, 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 face quit, to face. Quit, hey, quit, quit, sexu- quit sexually like trying to exploit me in this. Listen, grab the cleaning supplies and you come up. How's it? You come in here face to face if you have if you have that ability. Is, is the problem that you're slow? Do you need me? Listen, I need cleaning supplies for my room. But it's only 10 minutes. Hello, Ann. Hello. Hi. Do you have Ethernet ports in the room? Ethernet ports in the room? Yes, the Ethernet. Because I need no. to eat. No, That's no, That's how I get no. my food. It comes through the port in the hole. Ethernet ports in the room? No, we don't have that. I, how do I eat? Eat? You go, yeah, you to go, eat. You go, okay, you want to eat? Then yeah, go to a restaurant. Right, but I get it served through the tube, the internet tube, the ethernet tube. Okay, let me give you that number. They will help you. Oh, what's the number? Six, nine one eight. Six, six, six. No, nine one eight. Six, one, eight. Nine, one, eight. No, 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 no. That's my home number. Okay. Stay home and eat yourself there. Why do you need to eat here? Because you have the eater net port. I like okay. to have the food served through tubes. Oh, really? Do no, you like eat through? Tube. Do you tr- eat through your ass or your fucking mouth? Huh? Well, I eat through my mouth and it comes out of my ass later. Yeah, I, I guess you yeah. eat through your fucking ass. That's what I heard. Oh, really? Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm calling about a uh, complaint in my room. Complaint in your room? Yeah, there's okay. a gentleman that's outside of my outside of my door, and he's knocking on it right now, uh, and he seems to be eating from his ass. Okay, I want you to, I want you to hang up. Otherwise, I got your number. I can get your ass to hey, hey, really hey, be hey, hey. Listen, Mother Ch- Mother Chod, son of a bitch. Listen here. Hey, I will hey, send hey. the Chutia police to you. Yeah, you're a Chutia. You no, fucking your, no, you don't do the law. You fucking your mother or sister or you're fucking, you fucking your brother, huh? Hey. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them? Hey, Dalia. Okay, I, I, Dal- I, got, I got your number. I got your number. Call me one more time. No. All right, do that. I got your number on my call. Your, mother makes, your mother makes fuck on GB Road. Your mother makes fuck on GB Road. Black English Motel. Hey, so the issue I have right now is that there's this fat, fat motherfucker in the room next door to me. Who? What He's just being a fat, fat ass right now, dude. Huh? Can you hear him? He's taking a shit. He's taking a shit right now. He's in his room and he's really loud. He has his door open and the bathroom too. He's taking a shit. What is the what? Hey. Can you stop, bro? Stop taking a shit. Hello. Hello. What is the room number? I'm, I'm gonna hand you. I'm gonna hand the phone to the fat dude right here. Hold on. Yeah, well, hi. The goblin. The creature. Hi. My God, the toilet exploded. Sir, I need a new toilet. Prime and Sweets, this is Kathy. How can I help you? Kathy, I did not know that it was allowed um, in the room next door. Uh huh. I'm sorry, there's an I'm echo. Sorry. Are you well, there? I am a good Christian man, and I try to be, you know, faithful and practice my faith righteously. And I didn't know that it was allowed here to be two men in the room next door. 
There's two men, and they're making a lot of noise. And what room are you in? What room are you in? Hello? 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 I'm sorry, can you hear the two men? What room are you in? What room are you in? I'm sorry, I'm watching them right now. What room are you in? 212. We don't have anyone in that room. Well, I didn't really tell anybody I was in here. Then you're I just in, came in there here. illegally? Well, no, the door was open. That's still illegal. Hey, you... If you didn't rent the room, then you have to get out. No. Uh, no. This is a Look, business. I, I... Look, I own the place. Stop talking to me that way. I'm a shareholder, goddammit. There are no shareholders. What do you mean? There are some no guy sold me some shares. No, it's independently owned. No, I own shares in the corporation. Like the it's not a corporation. That's what independently owned means. No, you need to go get your MBA or something. Is there gonna, anything else? Are you going to listen? Yeah. Can you um, shut these guys up? No, you're not in the room legally. You have to get out of the room. If you leave the room, you won't hear them. What does it mean Either to way, be? They're being really loud. We haven't well, received an eviction notice. No, we haven't you received an eviction notice. You don't receive an eviction notice. This is a rent by day motel. Hotel. And you're not renting it. You said you're room 212 and there's no one listed in 212. The lady let us in and she gave us extra pillows. I am the only lady that could have let y'all in and I did not let y'all in or give you extra pillows. Well, she didn't really see us going in. She just like went in there and opened I'm the door the and I kind of put my... No. Okay, we're leaving. Bye. We're leaving. Bye. Ma'am, there's a cow in the room. Oh no, the predator sees the cow. Hey, listen. Nothing you say is gonna bother me. I could sit on the phone with you all that long. So. You know, there's those three dots that the predator paints on you before he blows you up. I see those on the cow. Well, blow up the Wait, cow. hold on. You said yeah. nothing I say can bother you? No. Oh, yeah! Um, okay, so are you married? I am. How long have you been married? Long enough. Do you have any children? I don't. You don't have sex with your husband? Sometimes when I want to. Is he attractive or you're like in that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Like what do you other? mean when you want to? Does it matter? Is there anything else I can do for you? Wait, are you a you, Christian? You woman? said nothing would bother you. You said nothing would bother you, huh? You're not bothering me. I think it's ridiculous. Why would you prank call a hotel? Like, what not? are you, like, 15? <gasps> emotional damage! Do you We're have just, emotional damage? A lot of We're it, just I'm a sure. couple guys, and... In and a room we're in the together. room, and so we're, y'all were like, the one like, making the noise? Yes. Yeah. 
Why are you concerned with my sex life if I'm a female and you're in the room with another dude making those kind of noises? Well, we just wanted you to come join us. We were trying to get you to come over here. That's that's a girl's dream to come over there and watch two dudes doing it. No, that's disgusting. Well, there's four of us. Well, y'all have fun. It sounds like you have plenty. Well, can you just add some flavor and join us, please? I'm super busy, kind of at work right now. You know where you're prank calling a hotel like a twelve year old. I don't know. Oh, my God. We crashed. We crashed. We were in the hotel room, but we went for a quick ride. We went for a quick ride to the uh, quick and shish stop shave parlor. The drugs are bad. Well, why don't, why no, don't you they're children? Like, do you, do you guys just enjoy your, your thing? Or, um... Yeah, I can't hear you. I asked, why don't you have children? I didn't want any. They turn out like people like you. Mm. Why would I want that, Mom? No. Well, not <laughs> at all. They didn't, they didn't want her. They didn't want her. I mean, grown children prank calling hotels. That's super cool. I want that in my yeah. life. Does your husband hey. not get hard anymore? Does he not get hard enough for you? He he does fine, or we wouldn't be married. He's an ever soft. She just she just crams it all up in there, including the balls. He, he does what honest. Bill Clinton did because Bill Amazing. Clinton didn't get hard. He like shoves a shoves a fucking cigar in her pussy and smokes it. A little bit dramatic there. <laughs> Is your name Monica? Yeah, yeah, it's Monica. Monica Lewinsky, can I blow some air out your ass? That's not what happened at all. What happened then? I mean, no, that's not what happened at all. I mean, you could what read it online. If you're so Google smart. it. Google it. Do you it. believe everything you see on the internet? What's Google? You can't afford that shit. Yeah, are you are you all an right, elitist? Kids. I've actually got real customers here. So if you don't, oh, need we're real show them your titties. Show them your titties. Show them your titties. If you're if you're man enough. <laughs> okay. First of all, I'm grown, a grown adult. Uh huh. Okay, honey, uh -huh. baby. So nothing you say you, no, if you're man enough. I'm not even a man. I'm a woman. You wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, but if you were transgender, you would get a monthly stipend. That's wonderful, but I'm not. I don't know about being a lady. Back to and that. And you know what? If you're really about it, like you talk the talk, but I don't think you walk the walk, you would show them your nipples right now. No, you're right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Do it you then. Got me. Do it on the phone. Do it on the phone so we can hear. Oh, my Lord. Do you need anything else? Someone's going to call and be like, hey, I triple dog dare you. I could triple dog dare you. Have you graduated dare. high school yeah. yet? You wouldn't do it anyway because that's how much of a chicken you are. You're right. Absolutely. That's a chicken, at least with a little class. Okay. 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 So what's the worst dare you've ever done then? Admit it. What's the worst dare you've ever done? Who cares? Did? Do you need anything? Who cares? I need to know that. Yes, I need to know no, the worst dare you've you ever don't. done. No, you don't. You need to know absolutely not one thing about me. What room are you in? And no, you're you scared. Need anything you're, else? you're chicken. You're okay. chicken. Okay. All right, chicken. Dang, you got me. We, we won. Bye. We won. We won. Yay. Bye. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Woo. We won, no, guys. Keep talking to us. You're getting paid to listen to this shit. I know. That's why I'm only on the phone. I sit here and just get paid. 
It's then nice, huh? you know what you should do? You should turn around, bend over, spread your ass cheeks, and fart on the phone. Yeah, that's. I, I need to do that. You know, everybody should do that at least once in their life. Sure. Oh, Anything I do it else? all the time. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. Mm-hmm. See? Okay, great. Wonderful. We could use some more towels in our room. Okay, you can come down to the front desk and get them. Are they, like, smelly towels? Like, have you have you really bleached them sufficiently to get the prior spank out of them? No. Do you wow, think they'll a- fit in your uterus? Probably. That's a horrible thing. That's a horrible thing to admit that your establishment has smelly towels. Okay. Don't stay here. Leave. Would it feel like to touch a woman? Oh. You said... Well, now that you tell me not to, it makes me want to do it more. Okay, then do it more. Oh, reverse psychology. Very good. Oh, she wants to play that game? All right, don't show us your titties because we're not looking from afar. Okay. You forgot to you. there. Raise your right hand. I'm doing it now. now. Take off your hat. Ah, <laughs> she did it. <laughs> she did it. Taking off my hat. Uh, oh, yeah. What is the status of your toilet paper rolls in the room? Yeah. They're Take something fly. else off, too. Oh, you cheap bastards. Take off your pants. No wonder my ass hurts. No, no, it's from something else. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, uh, little hotel lady, cashier girl, why don't you just take your pants off right now and just close your panties? Why would I do that? Because it's fun? Mm, no, thank you. See, because you have no spice in your life. You have no flavor. You don't want to do anything crazy because you're scared. Yeah. Okay. Yep. She's lacking the paprika. Man, you got You me. don't even salt and pepper your chicken because you are a chicken. I know. I know. You got me. Prove this wrong then. Show us all your panties right now. Sure. Sure. Do it. I'm super busy. Then hang up. Oh, no, I get paid to listen to this. It's amusing. Yeah, you enjoy our company. Admit it. You love does us. Your, does your toilet paper rolls, do they, like, like to roll me. from the – does the paper, like, dispense from the top of the roll or the bottom of the roll? The and top of the roll. And answer carefully because – Just know. admit. Correct. Your ding, husband ding, ding. is just like us. Just admit it. Okay. You know if your husband was right here, he'd be laughing and you'd be all mad. You'd be like, shut up, honey. Don't laugh, Sam. Okay. So can we, can we, like, move in with you now? Now that you know it. Sure, sure. What do you, do you keep the fridge well stocked? No. See, we're used to, like, living in a fraternity with, like, a house mom who, like, feeds us and does our laundry. Sorry and, to hear uh, that. What do you mean, sorry to hear that? Yeah. She also needs to screen our, our selective sexual encounters. You need to check them and make sure they have no herpes. Okay. Yeah, that's too. Okay. See, she's agreed to it. Boom, we're in, done. I'll, I'll uh... Send my keys to the bank and sell the house and move in with you. Sounds the bank, like a plan. The bank bank? <laughs> the bank, <laughs> the bank, bank. Clearly you don't own a house if that's your way of selling it. No, no, no. no oh, no. my. What was the way to sell a house? What, what, are, you wa- what are you watching oh, that you're goodness. trying to drown us out with? Okay. What are you watching? Are you watching competitive Wheel of Fortune? Yep. 
American Gladiator. You're, no, you're smoking yeah. watching American Gladiators. You're like, oh, Nitro, you big muscly rip motherfucker. Oh, yeah. It's American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Don't watch it. You couldn't even last a second on that show. No. That that sh- that show, it yeah it it exploits uh, athletes at its best. Okay. Right it exploits African Americans, and you're sitting there like condoning that bullshit, really? Yeah. Puta. Write him a letter. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I yeah. squeeze one of your boobs and go? Sure. Really? Why are you smoking? Why are right, you we gotta smoking? go down to the main office now. Let's go. Come yeah. on, hey, everybody. No, let's no, go. she she's down oh, there with non-filtered cigarettes. She's she's being a sickie. Okay. I think she's down. It's in her voice. You could tell she's down. <laughs> it's about to be in her throat. Ooh. Would you move to make a Hong Kong sound? Uh huh. Because that's the only way we're gonna be interested. <laughs> what? I could care less. What? Why are you being mean to her for? She's on. She's like the only one being cool to you, and now you're being mean to her. She winked her butthole at me when I checked in. Yes, you are. No. Now she's in the toilet. She's in the toilet. You hear? She's now in the she's toilet. taking a shit. Yep, you got me. Ma'am, I can hear a soundboard when I hear it. Okay, you're not tricking me. Okay. All right. Fine. We're going to call the hotel next to you, and we're going to tell them it's you. Yeah, we're going to tell them about your fingers. Okay, do that. And how your boobs make a honk honk noise. That's do that. very interesting. Do that. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. I like Hold on. to kill deer. Hello. Tyler. Hi. We're Kathy from next door. We want to fuck. Come over here and fuck us. Good evening. Thank you for calling Hootie Creek. How may I help you? Hey, fuck you. Uh, excuse me? I listen. That's all you need to know about my stay right now. I'm in my room and I'm stomping my feet right now, and ju- and, and just fuck you. No answering. No I'm more. gonna help you. And that's how my cheeks <laughs> got clapped that hard that time. <laughs> my my wife Miriam, she's in the room next door with Dwight. <laughs> the answer. Hey, my wife is getting fucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, well look at my that. wife. Oh She's my getting God. fucked. The guy next door came in my room and he's I'm fucking not a my man wife. anymore. I'm a woman. I'm got a dick. <laughs> Help me. Come over here, you motherfucker! Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, they're fucking in the bed! Hello? Hello? It's my scorpion stinger from adamandeve.com. Hello, motherfucker! Are you there? Can you help me? Miriam! She's getting fucked! Chuck slammed. Good evening. Thank you. I'll talk to Sam Resort. John speaking. How am I direct your call? Um, I, I, uh, ma'am, do you have a lost and found? Yes, we do. One moment. I'll transfer you. Okay. I, what, what? No, no, no. I'll, I'll speak to you. I, okay. I came in there and I dropped my pot. I dropped my pocket. Dropped your, your bail pod? Yeah, my pocket. Okay. Whatever you lost. 
You can go to the lost my mind. Oh, you lost your mind? I lost, lost my mind? heart because I got that. Yeah, and my heart because of my goddamnable woman. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. She, she, I couldn't trust her anymore. She blindfolded me and she said she'd cook me something special and then she put fingers inside of me. Well, you need to speak with security then, don't you? Uh, well, I mean, do they handle <laughs> You need to speak to security. Oh, my God. Hello? Hello? The security dispatch. Yeah. So let's... Hey, security. So listen, I was in the room, and then this woman, she she tricked me. She said she had baked goods for me, and she wanted me to do a taste test, and she put a blindfold on me, and then she put fingers inside of me. And I said, that's not a pecan pie at all. <laughs> all right. So uh, what's your name? And it, my name is Dwight, and I spoke to the lady at the front, and she said this sounded like a security situation. And I told her it sounded uh, like I need to talk to the FDA about it because that wasn't pecan pie. And if the pecan yeah. pie has went bad, <laughs> then then that's who I should be speaking to. But she she sent me to you, so now it's your problem. Well, hold uh, on, wait, security. This is what's your name, sir? Do what? What was your what was your name, sir? That's his name. Do what? Your name's Do what? Yeah. No, my name's James with security. What's up? Oh, it was your mom. It was your mom that was doing it, bro. Your That's mom was right here, and we were shoving our fingers in her like a fucking pumpkin pie. Oh, well, you have a good day. <laughs> your mom's right here. Lost and found pocket Comfort priest Comfort in a sweet, this is Angie. Can you hold, please? Do you have a pocket priest housewife in charge? Excuse me? Pocket you read that wrong. We can hold. Oh my God! Shut the fuck up. We can hold. No, no, you read it wrong. As pocket pussy priest. Oh my God! Yes, we'll hold. Pocket priest okay. housewife. Would you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> I like how I like how cats and the mom just like shut up. I was I was about to be like, all right, mom. <laughs> all right, you guys take it away after this. <laughs> No, no, mom. It's all you now. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna slowly now. back away. So there now, I mom. go. Oh, there goes mom. Bye. She just hits back with a bush with Homer. Oh, mom's please getting please fucked by Homer. Stay on the line. Is that sexy ass <laughs> motherfucker on video? Let me help you. What's up, baby? What are you doing later? Sorry. Hey, tell Can you check me in? Tell her about the taco truck we're going to have in the room later. Yeah, we're coming from a taco truck. We're, we're just going to come kick it. We're wondering if you could check us into our room tonight, baby. Um, what kind of room do you want? The big room where you can come lay down with me on the bed and I could eat your taco. What do you say the guy at 6 me? Thank you for Hello. With... Hello? Yeah, hi. There's a man outside my, my window. He's very loud out there. He's yelling. He's selling tacos and being very loud hey, in the parking lot. Hey, night. you want tacos? He won't, he won't stop. I told him no tacos, no cerveza, and he keeps yelling about tacos. He's trying to hey, pass the mic. Hey, come on, man. I'll give you two tacos. Two tacos, five what? bucks. No, what? I don't. I'm in What's 110. Your... I'm in 110. Hey, come on, man. Hey, I'll give okay. you two tacos de al pastor con todo. Just give me a second. Y cebolla, cilantro, man, he, queso, he, he, crema. He keeps catching uh, squirrels and cutting them up in front of me and making them cut the mice. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Do you know the taco man? Can you send him back to my room? I need to buy some tacos. Tacos. Thank you for choosing your award, Winnie Hampton and Sweet Savita. Tiffany speaking. How may I help you? What award did you win? Uh, we won our Hilton Honors Awards and our Best Hotel Award. So it was an, it, it was like an intramural and intercompany award? Yes, sir. Ah, that's not very impressive. Uh, listen, I, so I'm having a problem in my room currently. Okay. 
But um, the taco man left prematurely. Uh, I told him to hang on a second while I went and got some money out of my billfold, and he's gone, and I don't see him. Can you send the taco man back? Uh, sure cannot. Well, there's a man going door to door selling tacos and tamales. Hello, you want the tacos? Is there anything yes, I can sir? do for you, hon? Yeah, can you break a 20? Because he says he has no change. I, no, I take I take 20. I take, I take out 20. Oh, never mind, ma'am. He's got Square. He's got Venmo. He's got Zelle. He's got Cash App. No, I take your car. Is there take, anything I can do take, for you, hon? Take takes Visa. Uh, are you getting an attitude with me? No, sir. I'm just trying to figure out. I have another guest in front of me, so I'm trying to figure out what it is I can do to help you. Hey, I'm more important, okay? I uh, tried to uh, my bad. Taco. I tried to serve. Yeah, yeah, hey, put it, put more salsa on the guy's taco. Put it right there. I, I give you the real, real salsa. salsa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that gringo salsa. <laughs> An inferior piece of chocolate. How can I help Hello? you? Hola. Yeah, hi. Hey, man. Hey, can you tell me why you such a fucking beast, man? Why you tell me all these things? Is it Google again? Hello? Hello? Hello, lady? Yes? Hey, tell me, man, why why you being such a fucking beast to me, man? Who is this? What's your Hello? fucking problem? What? Hey. Hey, you Hello? got the yayo? What's your fucking problem over there? I don't know. My name hey, is uh, Hector oh. Rodriguez. Talk That's to my friend. Hector Fu? That's Hector Fu, and this is fucking Jesus. What's up? What's up? What was that? What are you doing right now? Come fucking kick it with us. What's up then? Oh, I am kicking it. Thank you. I'm at work well, kicking come it. Through. I am we'll through. on your lunch break. Me and Miss will make you a fucking taco that best squeeze. Well, I ain't got a taco yet. You make a taco well, I'll make you a taco right now. <laughs> I'll make you, you make a fucking taco, taco that pescuezo. Huh? Hey, man. She sound like a nice fucking chiquita, man. I'm not. She sound like a nice little chaparrita. I bring her in the fucking room. What's up, girl? Come on. Come on through. I Have give you, you some jaritos. Some jaritos, man. Have you ever I, had fucking chorizo con crema? What's so fucking funny? funny huh? What's so fucking funny over? I don't hey, know. Funny, huh? I'll give you some leche caliente. What's up? Hey, you wanna go for some? You wanna go for some? I'll be knocking like this. Hello? Well, yeah. Hey, my name is my name is Tono Tony Montaña. I'm a political prisoner from Cuba. Uh huh. How are you? Uh. Hey man, this town uh. is just like one big pussy waiting to get fucked. <laughs> Bye. That fuck. Go away now, now, for you. What's up, fool? Hey, I'm gonna come in your hotel, fool. I'm gonna sell tacos to people, dog. I'm already here, fool. You're already here? Yeah, I'm knocking on this fool's door right now, fool. Wait, it's okay. Hello? Hey, what do you need? Hey, fool, you want some tacos? <laughs> Sweets after hours is Mike. How may I help you? Hey, after hey, hours, Mike. Why don't you get some fucking act right in your voice, all right? Do what? This man. Like, how are you going to send this guy up here? I'm over here watching. I'm having relations with my wife, and he comes to my door. He's trying to sell me tacos. Hey, fool, come buy some tacos, fool. Come on, man. Who are you talking to? This guy's going door to door. This guy's going door to door, knocking on my door, talking about, hey, buy my tacos and shit like that. Come on, fool. Just buy two tacos at Best Squeeze, fool. Come on. He says he works in, what, he what, says he works in the kitchen down there. I work with this fool. 
There is no kitchen. Where? What room are you in? I'm in two fifteen. Open the door, dog. Open the door, dog. Let, I'm tacos. looking. I'm looking. I'm looking through the thing. He's he's over. He's getting very irate. He's talking about tacos and face squeeze. Open the fucking door, dog. I just want to give you a taco de face squeeze, dog. All right, I'll be down on, there man. shortly. You mean up? Hey, fool, I put there. sour cream all over your taco right yeah, now. Yeah, he, can, he, on, keeps ta- he keeps talking about, the, he said, the real shit, the green shit. That's all he keeps saying right now. I ain't giving you no gringo shit, dog. Come on, dog. Open the door, dog. Open the fucking door, dog. Open the fucking motherfucking door, dog. Eat this fucking taco. Eat the fucking taco, man. Good damn tacos, man. Hey! You're gonna eat this fucking taco, dog. You're gonna fucking like it, fool. Come on, fool. Hijo de tu pinche reputa madre, maricón, cabrón de mierda. Open your mouth, dog. Open your mouth, dog. Say, I Come on, man. Where are you now? Say, I Hello? Hello? What's what's up, fool? I just took this fool's phone, dog. What's up? What's I ran next now? door to the 7-Eleven, fool. I just took this fool's phone. I ran to the 7-Eleven. What's up, fool? So, fool, you want some tacos or what? Hey, speak with your mouth, dog. Come on, what the fuck? Hello? Yeah, I'm fucking talking to you, dog. You gonna fucking sit there and act stupid or what? I'm right here, fool, getting your mom some shit. What's up? You want anything or what? Where's your mom at? Go get your mom for me, dog. The f- <laughs> Thank you. Melissa, this is Delaney. Help me help you. What's up, Ben? Hello? I'm sorry, how can I help? What's up, baby? There's this guy here. His name is Dwight. He keeps trying to sell me some hot dogs. I'm I bought him sorry, with my food not... stamp card. I bought him with my food stamp card. I'm just trying to get cash. This was selling me some hot dogs. I was calling to see if he wanted one because he's got a special two for five bucks. Really, really, ma'am, they're just, they're just bologna that I bought with coupons and I rolled them up to look like a hot dog. Do you need you a reservation? Hotel room? No, we're already here. We're in the rooms already. We just want to know if you want a hot dog. What room number would you this be in? This bitch is a hot dog. This, this bitch is a hot dog. Man, she looked like a hot link. Shit. She looked, she looked like, like what? She, she looked like ha- what happened when your sperm, like, goes inside of the egg, but then never stretches out fully and looks like a fucking hot dog. Mm-hmm. No, it's all good then. What's Hello? up, baby? There's a fool right here. He's selling me tacos. Hey, man. You want these fucking tacos? Huh? You, there's a guy right here. I told Hello? him to get out of here, but he's fucking trying to sell me some tacos. I, can you hear me or not? Hey, pinche gringo. You want these fucking tacos or not, man? Hello? <laughs> Hello? I think the country in the suites in Nebraska's Kobe may help you. Uh, what's even going on in here? My room. The, the toilet is overflowing. Yeah, uh, the, the toilet paper is empty. Um, uh, what room are you in? Steve, the toilet paper is empty. Can you ask for more toilet paper? We need more toilet paper. Alrighty, what room are you in? That's the thing. We're, you, in, we're in the shit. 
can you ask him not to bring the one that uh, has a perfume in it? Because I, I have some awful sores down there and I get irritated. Uh, what room are you guys in? I've been trying to scratch down there with the toe of my shoe, like kind of get in there, like boot myself in the ass or something. But it still itches. Right. We're in 215. Alrighty, in 215. So you said you'd need new toilet paper, correct? Yeah, but it has to be hypnoallergic. Okay. Uh, let me see what I can find, okay? Okay, three ply if you've got it. Okay. This broke motherfucker doesn't have three ply. Yeah, we should have stayed in a better place that would have had three ply. Yeah, I, I definitely Could apologize. You just... This motherfucker got herpes on his toes. Could you bring like a stack of face towels? I could use those. Yeah, absolutely. Did you still want me to bring you toilet paper also? Yeah, just in case I, the face towels aren't enough. Okay. It's sort of, it's not coming out all in one go. It's kind of like coming out like rabbit pellets and it's really? making a mess. Okay. All righty, I'm on my way to your room, okay? All right, I might be on the toilet when you get here though. So all just right. come on in. All right. All right. All I'll see you in a second. All right, little chest. I'll see you soon. All righty. All right, barrel ass. Have a good day. All right, you too. All right, fart knocker. You still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Why don't you hang up the phone? Oh, you're, sorry. You're, about you're interested in me, aren't you? Why is oh. friendly faces and friendly faces? Excuse me, Rascal. This is David. How can I help you? Oh. Is this a friendly place with a fucked up face? Is that what this is? This is the hand in is Cindy Nebraska. Can you hear me? Ryan, Ryan. Okay. So I have a, in the room. I have a stack of face towels with um, faces on toilet paper. Clown. Nightmare fuel caressing the toilet rabbit pellets, motel bed, ectochrome. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. This is the Hampton Inn in Sydney, Nebraska. I know, but like Jack in the Box tacos, torn up American cheese slices, uh, and meat that like look like cat food or bean paste, old flour tortillas and taco sauce. Okay, I don't know what to say on that because to be honest, I, I cannot take this call if you're going to keep on doing prank calls. Goodbye. And oh, don't forget to fix you see that? Yeah, you hear her? She, she can't, she's not going to be honest. You hear that shit? King Zan. The other to the cathode. Hello? Hi. Hi. King Zan. Hi, we're up here in the room and the beds are too short. What gives, man? Yeah, the bed is too short or my legs are too long. I can't figure out which one it is. Now, we don't drink, we don't eat. <laughs> Check me. Oh, speaking. How can I help you? Hey, um, the beds are too short, like my legs are too long or something. Um, which room number are you in? 215. 215. The bed's too short? Um, was that a yeah. single bed or is... Let me see. I think, it's a, I think it's like a queen or something. Yeah. Um, let me look up your room number real quick. Yeah, uh... Yeah. All right. 215. Yeah. I have you know that I've written over 50 novels. Sorry. 
Yeah. Um, what was the name under? Uh, Bill. Bill. Okay. Uh, I mean, a good last? example of a oh, uh, Loney, L O N E Y. Um, I think you're in the system, Loney. Oh. It starts with an L, right? J K L. Yeah, Bill Loney. Sorry, it's alphabetical. Yeah. Um, let me yeah. try searching by phone number. Can you give me the phone number? Of associated with your account? Oh, sure. You got it? Um, can, I was asking if you could give me the phone number associated with your account so I could pull up your guest info to see um, the bed type and see if I can do an upgrade. Oh, yeah, thing. sure. Yeah, so 571. Mm-hmm. Two seven five. I think not yet. Five eight. What was that last part? Uh, twelve. But like you know, written warnings and instruction manuals are worthless since rabbits can't read. I mean, it's just one of those things. Um. And I then I realized that the only way I would. Oh well. There are like 50 mannequin heads floating in the pool, and it kind of freaked me out. Okay. Um, so I just put in the phone number that you provided, and it looks like it says there's no guest profiles that were found matching. Um, yeah, I'll have to come I down. And I can't find your name on here. Um, are you sure it was 215, yeah. not 150? Uh well, I'm on the second floor, so it's got to be 215. Okay. I used to well, practice I'll be weaving. Yeah. If you need anything, because um, I can't seem to find your name in here, but I'm still looking. You said your name was Bill, and your last name yeah. started with an L. Yeah. Um, I mean, all right. wisdom is well, easily acquired when hiding under the bed with a saucepan on your head. And that's um, why I need to come down to the front desk. Right. Okay. Um, well, I'll be at the front if, if you need anything. And, well, the next shift should be coming in soon, so I'm not sure if I'll be the one you're talking to. But, but um, yeah, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the problem, at the end of the day, I can talk to you face to face. We can figure this out. I can get my manager on the line to see what's going on, because I can't seem to find your name in the system. So, uh, yeah, I mean, at the end really of the day, Shakespeare was Shakespeare. At the end of the okay. day, Shakespeare was a famous well, diesel mechanic, and the door. Awesome. When I opened the door, and there were you have there were pink one. giraffes. I'll see you when you come elephants. downstairs. Bye. Okay. I mean. That's the way you want to run it. Hi, is this Nancy Park Hotel? Hello, hotel. Hello. Hi. Is it okay if I Hi. park my RV in your lot here and I sell tacos out of my van? And you do what out of your van? I sell the taco for my van. Oh. I... Uh, I, I I don't know what lot you're talking about. Oh, this one right here. It's in front of the room. Oh, you mean the long parking there on Park Street? Yeah. Yeah, that one. I like yeah, this that's, uh, I mean, it's public, it's public parking, so it's not mine. Oh, well, which one's yours? How do I make sure it doesn't get towed, you know? <laughs> Uh, oh, you mean, I guess I don't understand. You're a guest? Yeah, I'm a guest, and I sell tacos from my van. Oh. Hey, yeah, Steve? I don't know. I mean, yeah. If you need, if, ask Megan there where you can park. I mean, 
you can park your RV. Well, Megan told me to parking. go away. She said I was creepy. I was too creepy, and I couldn't sell my taco there. Well, I don't know where you're talking. So, you know, you don't, I, I don't know. Uh, you're staying at my hotel? Yeah, well, Megan let me in. She said, don't tell, you know, don't tell so-and-so because maybe, you know, because I'm not paying. So she just let me in. She gave me a key. She gave you a room? Yeah. She said, you it's just give me all the taco and you can have my taco later on. What room so did she let you stay in? We're doing a taco exchange. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to divulge that because then you'll know who I am. And then we have a problem. You know, oh, it's my hotel. Steve is weird. Steve? Yeah. Let me I tell you about Steve. You now, see, even though Steve thought the world was flat, he told me he wanted to take a trip around the world. Like, what does that even mean? If he's like a flat earther? I don't know. Don't listen to him. He's stupid. Hey, you got more you got more grill for the toilet? I need more charcoal. No. Taco. taco toilet. I mean you when you're tight on money, I always see you going to the wishing well and fishing stuff out. I mean you're not a good person. You're like stealing people's wishes. Well Megan told you're me stealing. to make the taco in the toilet. We're doing time stealing with people's day. wishes is like first. stealing people's dogs. Anyway, so no, you will not be able to sell tacos on public property. You have to get an okay. And uh, people that sell out of their trucks and cars uh, have to get an okay by the people well, that sell own the land. And I, yeah, I just no, stand you outside and I sell. And I walk up and down, and I cost every customer you have with tacos. Look, look, Steve, yeah. don't piss in my garden and tell me you're trying to help my plants grow. Like, grow. Anyway, guys, uh, Megan will, it, you will not be allowed it's to It's Megan, that. anyway. Um, huh. What am I, how am I going to get taco? Hello? Hello? We're, we're being transferred. We're on hold. Thank you for holding. Hello? Uh, yeah, hi. So I'm calling this number back because somebody said that they were up here in Gardner, Montana, staying at my hotel selling tacos. Excuse me? Yeah, this is a number I got that somebody said that somebody was here selling tacos. And my boss called me right now and she asked me what was up with selling tacos. So I was just calling the number to find out what was going on because it was brought to my attention. That's all. Who are you? I'm um, Amanda Hotel, Gardner, Montana. Ha ha. Oh, really? Because no. I can tell you right now, my husband. Uh huh. You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk-ass bitch? What? Huh? What are you fucking talking about? Fucking loser. Who is this? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I work in Gardner, Montana. I have a husband and a dog. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. My boss called me and shoots me out right now and told me I let me sell tacos at my hotel that I manage. And I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you're somewhere. We'll see what you are, you little bitch. Let's go to the house and motherfucker. I'll be waiting for you. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're the one that called us, motherfucker. Goofy son of a bitch. It's the Forest Heroes number that got called. And my boss just called me and told me I was having somebody sell tacos out of her hotel. So I was just calling to find out what was going on because I've never had nobody sell tacos at her hotel, I told her. She told me I'm going to lose my dog. So I'm like, what's up? I don't know what's going on. Give me the number that called you, I told her. So she gave me this number, and I'm just calling to find out what's going on. You're a fucking ill lawyer. You got a fucking degree, because I got a fucking degree. Don't you? Yeah, where you're street, from, a bitch. Street, a street degree. I'm from Riverside, California. 
Yeah, you got a fucking degree from fucking some bullshit fucking online bullshit. Apparently, I got a better one than you because I don't talk the way you do, and I don't use kind of verbal vulgar language like you do. And I'm just trying to get to the bottom of some bullshit that got stirred up. What? I'm just telling you the truth. My boss called me five minutes ago, and she said, these people called me and told me that you let them stay at our hotel for free. They don't want to get their RV towed and that you let them sell tacos to our guests. What's up? And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Give me the number that called you. So she sent me this phone number, and I said, I'll call the number. So then I pressed call from my phone, and I'm just asking what was going on was all. If you think you're bad, why don't you fucking talk to me then, boy? I'm right here, and I'm talking to you. Let's go do something about it. Yeah, see, you know, you got a little bit of an issue, and I don't know what your problem is. Well, you're talking shit? No, I'm not talking shit. I'm saying the truth. You're talking shit? You can't back it up, motherfucker. What? Ta- wait, wait. Come on over. I'll back it up, motherfucker. Hey, what, what am I talking? I'm not talking no shit. <laughs> You're a fucking joke. I'm going to tell you right now, buddy. Run up, fool. Run Go up, get a over. fucking life. Get a life, you fucking bitch. I got one. Come on over. Get a fuck. You call me down. A Tommy gun? We don't need a Tommy gun, bro. I mean, we're not trying to go that route. I mean, if you want to, we can, but we're really not. You would be the first motherfucker to ever call me down. Oh, I mean, I bet you I won't be the last, because if you're going to keep up this kind of shenanigans, you'll be a lot, lot more people. I'm going to tell you that right now. And well, that's what I just said. Like, you wouldn't be the first one to get crazy like that, but what's going on? Who let you sell tacos here? I don't understand what you're saying. You must be a bad motherfucker if you're going to call me down. Well, I must be something. Yeah. I you're a fucking loser, dude. People on the phone. Um, and so I don't know what's going on with these tacos. And I don't understand why this, you guys were saying that we let you guys sell tacos out of here. You can't even get no pussy or do nothing but harass somebody on TV. I don't go on TV. I don't know what you're talking about. You little punk? I'm not a punk, but you must definitely not have any education or something. But if you get, like, your jollies off of this, that's really crazy, bro. Come on over. I'll let you be on the bitch show. You ain't shit. I'm going to tell you right now, motherfucker. Are you there? You better calm your jets. <laughs> well, just letting you know that nobody ever sold tacos out of here, so I don't know why you thought your RV was going to get towed unless you were illegally selling tacos out in front of my... Hotel, and I've never seen nobody selling tacos, but that's fine if that's what you want to do is sell tacos. Just don't do it in front of my park hotel. Well, I'm going to fucking make something happen, boy. Well, I'm Where sorry you that at? you said that. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> where, what, what's your name and where are you at? Yeah, and what's, what's your gimmick? You shut the fuck up, you punk. What are you talking to me about, boy? I'm not a boy, bro, but I probably got more balls than you do, though. Oh, you're... Where are you calling from? A fucking nursing home or a mental facility? That's where you're you're calling from. (laughs) Okay, boss, I'm going to let you go because we got more important things to do than this. Okay, ma'am? You're living in the dream world, you fucking geek. Okay, bye. Tell yeah, hi. Did you just call the, uh, the the food people to come out here and inspect our tacos? I'm Did sorry, you call what? them? Did you call health department? Did you call health department? Tell them come out and inspect our services for our tacos? No, I didn't. And I don't know who you are, but you need to really stop calling me and bothering me because it's really annoying. No, listen. No, no. Listen, listen. Tacos are for the family. Tacos are they going to sell. Tacos are going to make any food in their mouth and food in my family's because we don't eat this shit. Okay, well, you have a nice day then, and I'm sorry that you're being bothered, but please don't bother me anymore. Why, 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 why bother? Why? Why you bother? Why? Why I bother? I don't bother you. You called me. No, 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 no. Why you bothered? Why? What happened? Why am I bothered? Because you're calling me about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, okay, okay. But, like, why? 
I don't know. You're the only one that can answer that question why you're calling me about something. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no answer for okay, that. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, listen. You want taco? You know, I got the police on the other line, and do you want a taco? Because I'm sure they'll take a couple from you if you want uh, to be uh, Police, police don't like, police, police no, uh, they no track us. We have no address. We have no cars. We have no, they, they no find us. It's okay. Hey there, this is the detective. Uh, yes. Who is you? Detective. Uh, what is your uh, badge number? 498. Uh-huh. And who do I have the honor to, pre uh, to be speaking to right now? Hey, my name is Jose. He's blue. Jose, huh? Jose is blue. I noticed your phone number. Last down. name is I Z Blue. As blue. Jose is blue. Get the chicken back in the truck. Get it in the truck. Go to make more tacos. Hello? Hello? I'm still here. Sorry, I tried to get the chicken back in the truck. What, uh, what seems... What can I help you? What? No, no issue. This woman, a uh, foul-mouthed woman called here earlier and she said very mean oh. things to me uh, about my food, uh, about the... About my wife, uh, she tell me to go back to Tijuana. Um, she say very racist things. Okay, do you know? She call me. She keep call. She she call. She leave voicemails. I don't know this woman. She keep calling. <laughs> I don't think I so. I was never calling you. No, no, no. You call me. You you call me the very The officer crazy. was on the phone when you just came through on you the other told line. Me, here you told me. No, no. You you told me you voted for Trump and you say you this is what you get. You know what? what? I don't need this. This is a bunch of crap. I got better things to do than this. This is so seriously bullshit, dude. No. Why you say swear words? I said bullshit. That's not a swear word, okay? In all reality, That's I'm real. going to swear world by here at my hotel. I don't need this crap. That, that so day what? I'm sorry? Jose, detective. Hello? Hey, uh, uh, this woman, is you, you hear her? Is she an anger, anger issue? Um, <laughs> are you in the Gardner area right now, Jose? I'm outside, outside hotel, uh, trying to make a living. I uh, see at home with the uh, tortillas, the tacos, tamales, uh, oh. the green, the green salsa, the green salsa, not the, uh, the ratio for gringos. I sell the arista. You were not outside my hotel. Yes, I had to go back and get chicken. Chicken got loose. I'm not even in the mood for this. This is too much. You need to you need to get laid. Huh? You want the music? I'll call you back on a different okay. line. Okay, Megan. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thanks for calling, Mr. Dennis. Talking to help you. Hi. Hello. Hi. I can help you tonight. Listen. I lost the I lost the pot. I lost it. Hello. Hello. What are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Hi. The pot. Hi. How's it going? No, no. I lost the, the pot? pot. The pot. What? Do you not understand the pot? The. Well, I was walking and then I I was reaching in my pockets and I realized I lost the pot. The password? No, the pot. I don't know what you mean. It's it's uh it's it's nonstick. 
uh, is gold. It's not gold play, but it's bronze. It's nonstick. It's uh, they show on the infomercial that you can put like cheese in it and you can burn it and it won't stick. And it's got a silver handle. It's about six inches long, long enough you won't burn yourself the pot. Well, do you know where you lost it at? That was no. I I was walking. With, I was walking with it, and then uh, the pot. The it's gone. Oh, I'm not sure where to be then. I had a grilled cheese Maybe sandwich this in it. One will definitely call you. Yeah, if it oh, comes up. Okay, I'll but let you I'm, know but that's it. yeah, yeah. But I'm not too concerned about the pot. It's the grilled cheese that was in the pot. That's what I'm concerned. I need the grilled cheese. I'm trying oh, to lure rats into my room. I'm trying. I'm trying to lure rats into my room. And nothing's gonna happen if I don't have the grilled cheese. I'm trying to lay pieces of chopped up grilled cheese, like you know, you watch ET with the uh, with the Skittles, and he followed. And I want to do that with rats, because rats when because yeah. when you don't when because my no because my medication, my medication it says not to take with alcohol, and I didn't read that until after I had consumed alcohol. And then, and now, like, the rats need to come to my room so they can help me calm down. The rats are very docile, if from what I read on Google. Or docile. Yeah. They have, a, they have a dorsal fin, too. And they swim majestically in the ocean. And they can defeat a shark if they want to, but they're not violent. And so they kind of leave sharks alone. And, but sharks, sharks are the jerks. They're the jerks of the Jello Sea World, and when the, what happens is they they swim around and they don't like like green like lime green Jello, and so they that's what makes them angry is the world the world seas are made of lime green Jello and it's very difficult for them to breathe in it, and so that's why they're angry. It's not because they're a large Abdullah oblongata. Hmm. And that's why I'm that's why I'm trying to tell the rats, but the rats won't come if I don't have the grilled cheese. You see where I'm going? Right. So where around here can I cause I'm out of bread. I was down to the last end pieces. I wasn't even gonna sure if the rats were gonna like the end pieces. Cause I mean between me and you, nobody likes the end pieces. Nobody even knows what to do with those end end pieces. And I don't, they all, they're only there to make it like, look, like make the visual that this was actually a loaf of bread, but it, but it wasn't those, those, each of those slices of bread had an individual life and they lived a life to their fullest until they were crammed inside and suffocated and died and turned into bread. They were living beings. They were put inside of a plastic bag and then the bag was choked with a little twisty tie. And so then we got these two dead objects on my table, and then the the cheese, the cheese from the utter the utter squeeze goes in between, and then heat's applied, and and then um, where is I going with this? Oh, the end, the the end, basically I'm saying the end pieces. Fuck the end pieces. Dad, your caseworker's here. That. Why is there a big fucking rat talking to me? Yeah, they're here to see if you've been drinking. It's time for your piss test. Oh shit, it's Master Splinter. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna go back to jail if you've been drinking. Uh, uh son, you 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 tell you tell that rat trap that I've not been drinking, you were drinking. Okay, I'll I'll pee for you. You 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 go pee on him. Go pee on him like a good rat. Okay. Uh, you touch. You touch. You keep, an, you keep an eye on your ninja turtles over there. I'll see if yeah. I can just... Teenage turtle. Teenage turtle. Do you know the turtles? All they, they lived on the half shell, and they had they had turtle powers. Yeah. You knew that you knew that already. You know, what? you know what? I like you. You got away with words. Deluxe taxi. Hey, what's up, asshole? 
I need you to get your fucking car over here and take me somewhere. Thank you for calling the quality again. This is Sierra. How can I help you? Uh, were you born in Nevada? Oh, come on. Thank you for calling the quality again. This is Sierra. How can I help you? Yeah, were you born in Nevada? Yeah. Okay, then. God. All right, can we talk about the cleanliness of my room now? Yeah, absolutely. That was interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, listen, there is there is uh, sand from the desert in my room. I'm sorry about that. What room are you in? I'm in 215. But well, I want to be honest with you, though. I did bring the sand in myself. I went down to Home Depot, and I picked up uh, several bags of the sandbox sand, the play sand, and there was a hole in it. I brought it in here to store because I didn't want to get wet out in my car because my car has a leak in the roof. Um, but several of the bags, I brought in two dozen bags, they did have holes, and there is sand, copious amounts of sand in this room. Oh, okay. And... Um it seems to have attracted some ants. Oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy's so stupid. Boulder Dam Hotel and Museum, this is Brown speaking. How can I help you? Oh, damn it, you know? Damn it. Hold on a minute. Ah! Hello? Hey, hey um, yeah, yeah, we just pushed this motherfucker off the second floor. <laughs> He went splat. It was pretty funny. Yeah. He fell 10 feet and went splat. We're pretty sure he was made out of water. Yeah, he burst like a water a water bubble. <laughs> Best Western Hoover Dam. Yeah, if someone didn't Hoover in my room, the floor is all dirty and dusty. Damn. I need some immediate Hoovering. All right, yes, and what room are you in? 215? Three. Yeah, three. We're in three. Oh. We're in three? Yeah. Oh. Remember, because I drilled the hole in the floor, we went down to three. Oh, yeah. And then we, dig dug, and then we dig dug over the four. Oh, the sideways dig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. I remember we found some, like, ancient alien artifacts in the wall. Oh, is that that stuff that we got from Koopa? Thank you for calling the Hathorne Police, but I wanted to help you. What the fuck is wrong with your phone? Oh, excuse me? I'm hey. sorry. Oh, Hello? I'm sorry. It sounded like, your, it sounded like your, your phone had Listerine in it and it was gargling it trying to get minty fresh. No. How may I help you? What do you mean, no? How are you just going to deny what I said? You. Are you an election denier as well? How may I help you? We're going to let sir? Trump back on Twitter. Yeah. You just wait until Trump's back on Twitter, ma'am. It's going to be all over. Okay. Well, okay. Is there anything else I should know? Because I'm quite frankly about to hang this phone up. Wow, are you a, are you a are you a bitch? Bye. No. One breast being. I don't know. I don't want to figure it out. Is that a picture with okay. one? What is that? Motel Six. Man, you're speaking. How may I help you? Hi. Hey. Apple. Um. What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? I called you 15 minutes ago to bring up the Connect Four game, and you're still not up here. Are you taking a shit? Uh, Your kids are waiting for the, the Connect right, Four. Are you guys calling the right place? Yeah. Yeah, we're calling the front desk. Dumbass. You said you were going to bring up the Light Bright, the Etch a Sketch, and the Connect Four, so we had something to do. Yeah. 
Where are you guys calling to? You. No what room? room? 215. Thank you for calling Census Station. Ms. Myra, how may I assist you? Hey. Thank you for Hi. Hello. Um, so there's this dude and I was wondering if you could send him back up here. He's like going like room to room selling tacos. I didn't get his name. He said he works with you guys He's from the kitchen. Oh yeah? Okay. Let me get you over to the manager. One moment. Okay. How can I help you? Hello, thank you for calling the Hampton Inn. What was that? Hello? Hello? Hi, how can I help you? I don't know, you called me? This is the Hampton Inn. Is this the Holiday Inn? The Hampton Inn. No, this is Joe's place. You have the wrong number. No, um, I received hi, this. Hi, you guys called me right now. Hi, this is uh, no. Hi, hello, this is Ranch Ranch Machine uh, Hotel. How can I help you? Imagine dragging these nuts on your face. Ah. Hello. We need a dictionary or a uh, translation geek, geek, guide. Geek. That's what's your plus to say, Lee. We need a translator. Do you have a translator up here, down there, inside there, and around the corner there? No, we're not like a place that we have multiple employees here at one time. Where I'm just by myself. Oh so no. Okay, let me pull my brother up. Bitch. He's hey, let me talk to this. let me talk to this lady. Listen, you got a Bible in this room, but you're telling me you don't have anybody to translate. I don't have anybody that translate. No. Why not? Uh, what what languages do you understand? English. Okay. Um, but do you know a little Spanish? I do not. Okay. Yeah, um, do you know you don't? So you wouldn't know puta then, right? What are you What are you needing? And what room are you in? If you're here. Well, I we got this menu. We're trying to order tacos. This guy, he came to our room. He knocked on our door. He handed me a menu of tacos, but he doesn't speak. And we're hungry and we're drunk, and so we can't drive. So we're trying to get tacos. Okay, so what room are you in then? I'm in 215. Okay, and your name? My name is Kevin. What's the name on the room? What do you mean, what's the name in the room? The name on, on your room that you're staying in, because I don't think I don't you're know, in the room. I, don't, I think I'm you're not, calling me from somewhere else staying, because you're being I'm very not, rude. No, I, I'm not staying in this room. I'm just saying I'm in 215. This is where the guy is. We've all been following him. I'm not sure why you guys would follow a guy that you guys don't know for a menu. Because he said he got tacos. He said homemade. Yeah, I'm going to need you to stop homemade, calling homemade. the hotel's phone if you're not if you're not a guest here. I am a guest, though. I listen. I stay okay, here. Okay, so what room? He do said, you "Follow me." He he does a symbol. He does a symbol like this. I'm down in 107. Okay, and, and, and you what's have the to name call the room? number. Don't you have to call the number to become a guest? Like, yeah. isn't what, that like a chicken number? and egg thing? Your number you guys... to to get a room. She you do, yeah. She's got webbed feet. You got so one. you said okay, don't so you call need to this number calling. unless you're yeah, a guest. Because of, exactly, because now you guys well, are just asking questions, and I don't believe you guys are guest if I can't here. call the number. She you're got saying squeaky you're a guest now, so you're she not, so you need to voice. stop calling. Thank you. Have a great night. Don't tell me what to do. I'm, I'm... It's me, Worthy. Robert, are you? It's you? Robert. Yeah, it's me. It's me. You're already it's there, me. huh? Yeah, my huh? penis. My penis is, is growing large. What do I do? It's me. You and I. Hello. Hello. Hi, you have coconut room for me to lie down in and put my brother on the phone with? Here you go. 
Hey, what type of domestic violence do you have going on in the background there, sir? TV. Oh, TV, domestic violence? Is that what you uh, get off to these days? or? Well, watching a 1930s movie, I think. You... <laughs> oh, okay. What type of misogyny is going on right now? I don't know. Well, you're the one watching it. I, I can't describe it to you because I'm not watching it. Well, it's a horse pulling a cart. Is there a lot? Is there is there a lot of uh, mansplaining going on? A lot of what? Mansplaining. Mansplaining. What is that? That's when a man explains to a woman common sense issues like she doesn't know because she is uh, less than a man intellectual wise. Hmm. I don't know. I've always known very like, intelligent, it, women, so it, I don't know. It's 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 like well, it's like when a man explains to a woman what a coconut phone is. A coconut phone. Yeah. Never heard of that. You've never heard of a coconut phone? No, and I'm 73, so that's kind of amazing. Did you did you ever watch Gilligan's Island? Yeah, but it's kind of boring. Yeah, right. But but the women wore coconut bras because you know on a oh. deserted island with nobody right. around, you can't just bare your breast. You can't just have your titties flopping around. You get a ticket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> So what? I don't get your point. So? I don't either. I know. I'm, that's what I'm saying. What's your point? Okay, that's a coconut I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Hang on. Here, here it comes. Wait for it. Hang on. Okay, it was a false alarm. That, never mind. There it was. Oh. It was a. Uh, anyway, are, you, are you calling? It was on. It was on a delayed what? timer. Yeah, yeah. What type of exotic channel options do you have? No, just regular stuff. Like what? Well, you know, Fox News, etc. Fox News. Yeah, I don't think there's any. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's Netflix and, on it. I mean, I, I haven't masturbated to Fox News in quite some time. Uh, I could be talked into it. What's on right now? What is this? This is, uh, oh, what's her name? What, who? I don't know. It's what? like a 1950s movie, I guess. On Fox News? Bullshit! They're doing reruns of no, Tucker no, Carlson right no, now. No, that's no. I'm I'm at home, so. Oh, oh, okay, all right. You were talking about. Hey, you uh, you ever? Yeah, you ever suffer from tinnitus? No, whatever that is. No. That's uh, that's a like a high pitched ringing of the ear. No. Never had that it usually it lets you know if you if you have tinnitus it means you have a uh, you have an art gene you do a lot of good art. No, not me, math major. No, no. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. All right. Probably haven't taken art. I, mean, I was trying to I was, I was trying to I was tr I was tr I was trying to give you some props and you know but. Mm. So what'd you call me about? Well, you called. I called you back. Or you? No, no, no. No, no, you called me. Yeah, my phone rang. What what you need? No, you called me. I answered. I no, I didn't call you. I don't I don't have outbound, outbound calls. I can't afford it. I only have incoming. No, okay. Hang on. I just played the red reverse card on you. What is your play? Huh? I just played no play the red reverse you. card. What do you what what do you have in your hand? Nothing. Okay. Well, you no didn't cards. say Uno, so boom! I hit. Now you got to draw two. I called you out. You didn't. You didn't call Uno, so two cards for you. Okay. And now I'm down. And now I'm down to two as well. But it, it's my turn. I have a skip, so now I've skipped you, and I have a draw four, and I win. Well, okay. You win. 
Thank you. Uh, what is my prize? Oh, do you get to hang up first? Wow, well, that's not that's not going to happen. You don't know you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hmm. So I guess you better just go ahead and and hang up this goddamn phone. Huh, someone else will call. Yeah, but what does that have to do with you hanging up the phone? Mm -hmm. Trust me, you're not going to outlast me. I'm doing so much other shit right now. Like, I'm on cruise control right now talking to you. I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time right now. Neither do I. Okay, good. Well, I'm over here. I just ran a compressor on Audacity. Uh, now I'm normalizing the track. Uh, it shrunk it down a little bit. Now I have to go export it as an MP3. Because when you have a week off, you got to do a lot. Of, you got to do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna name this one Marco Polo Kitchen Help. Um, so why do you watch a lot of old stuff? I'm old. What do you expect? So this like this reminds you of all the times. Did you vote for Ike? Did you vote for? Uh, for Ike, did you get no, excited when he was three. running for our... Nah. Yeah? Are you I trying to say you weren't around that. when Ike was around? Oh, you lying. Yeah, fuck. I was like 10 when he left office. Yeah, right. And you voted for him, right? When I was 10. Who's that asshole think. in the back? Who, who, who's that asshole in the background talking? Oh. My... Uh... Patron just reminded me that we got an incoming call for business. You're who? Don't call again. Shut up, bitch. Really? Hey, incoming shut up. Get on the call. phone. You want to be a man. You want to be a man? Get on this phone. Otherwise, you shut the fuck up. Hmm. So anyway, go have fun All right. masturbating yourself, okay? <laughs> bye, bye. I've already, hey, hey. Oh, was that funny, honey? Honey, baby? Oh, look at you. Why don't you go be subservient? Why don't you go in the kitchen and start scrubbing some dishes? Why don't you take your fucking scoliosis hands and go get in the kitchen and start applying some palm olive fucking dish soap to it, huh? Stupid bitch. Yeah, whisper, whisper now like I can't hear. I got excellent headphones. I got Bose headphones. Thousand dollar headphones. Thousand dollar headphones. You know nothing about this because you're a poor. Oh, that's a that's a really nice business call you've got going on right now, honey baby. Thank you. 